that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Hero of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making a versatile dining table that can be used in small spaces. And this is also a requested video. I'm going to be starting with a cube storage. Now, the person who made this request has a cube storage that she's just leaving in her home, laying around doing nothing. And she wants to see how she can make a dining table for a family of six. So I figured instead of making a whole dining table from scratch, she can use the cube storage that she has and just work around it. I'll use two paint buckets for the base to increase the height. I'll wrap them with contact paper and attach them to the bottom of the cube storage. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be using a thick wood for this project since it's a dining table and the wood is going to be the same width as the storage and the height is going to be including the base that's at the bottom. I cleaned the wood and attached these flexible adhesive tiles to it and I got these tiles from Home Depot. I'll need smaller pieces at the bottom and I'll be making the cuts with utility shears. A cheaper route will be to just paint the wood. I decided to use this because I wanted to see what it was going to look like for a table. I did this on two boards and this is how they're going to be attached, but I turned them over before attaching heavy duty hinges. The screws that come with it are too long, so I'll be using shorter ones so that it doesn't come out from the other side of the wood. The next thing I'll do is attach two thick pieces of wood that will be by the sides, folded inside for the legs. I'll be attaching these pieces of wood to the main board with hinges. I'll put a small piece of wood inside to make it level while I attach the hinges. I attached two of these on each door. On the legs that's going to be folded in, I'll be covering it with flexible mirror sheets. The link for these sheets will be down in the description box below. You can simply just paint this wood instead of covering it with mirror sheets. I'm doing this because I have a lot of these at home. The sides will be covered with glitter tape that I got from Michael's craft store.
I realized much later into the project that to make it easy to move this table around, I will need rollers at the bottom. So because of that, I had to remove the paint buckets that I used as the base and use a wooden box storage. These are photo boxes and I got these from Michael's Craft Store as well. I covered them with the contact paper that I had used for the paint buckets. Now I'm going to be attaching it to the bottom of the cube storage with wood glue and screws. Now because I used the height of the paint bucket together with the height of the cube storage to cut the wood that I used on both sides, I'm going to have to make sure that the height that I'm using at the base is the same height as the paint buckets. So what I did was to add more wood to give me the same height. Now you can avoid doing all this by just getting one particular wood or making a box that is the height that you want before you start the project. When I was done, I added wheels at the bottom for easy mobility. Now here's what it looks like. It looks so simple, yet very functional. I added mirrors at the top and these mirrors are not glued to this because I'm going to be using it for different things. So this is now a console table. This can be kept where you intend to have your dining table so that when you're not using it as a dining table, it'll be at a corner and saving you a lot of space. Because of the type of hinges that I used here, it's showing and that cannot be covered, like I said, because of the type of hinges that I used. This is what the table looks like when it's open to sit two people. Remember that this is how it would look like before opening it. Now I'm going to show you guys how I opened it up on one side for it to be able to sit two people. Now I'm going to be opening both sides that will be able to sit six people. I've opened the first flap. Now I'm going to be opening the second flap. I covered the edges with mirror mosaic tiles. And down here in the cube, you can still see that I have openings for storage. The table can be set however you like. It's all up to you. I don't have much dining chairs because I don't have a lot of people at the same time dining here, but I'm just going to leave the back with the extra two sitting areas empty. But then this is what it looks like when it's all set for six people. If you like, you can also use this as a craft table. Here are the three looks that you can achieve with using just a simple cube storage. I really love this idea and like I said, it's perfect for small spaces. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.